Hi, it's Mickey, and I'm going to show you today a real good way of dealing with Google Forms and making what's called a forced copy. Why would you make a forced copy? For two reasons. One, you don't want to give editing access to people so that they can muck up your own form. You want them to have their own form. Two, if you give them just a copy of the form, you will get all of their students' responses, and you don't want that either. You want each teacher to be able to have their own responses. So what do you need in order to do this? You need the form itself. You need either a Google Doc or an email or something you could copy into, and WhatsApp or whatever you want to publish your link in. So I have here a form. I'm going to click on the three dots. And again, I'm doing this very quickly. You can go on to YouTube. There are lots of videos that explain in more detail. I'm going to click on Add Collaborators. And I'm going to change the access from private to either public or anyone with a link. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to actually use or publish that link. I just need it in order to do this copy form. I'm going to take this blue area up above with the link itself. To share it as a link. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to like a Google Doc or something else. And I'm going to paste it. This is the link that you get when you want to have someone edit your form. I don't want them to edit. I want them to make a copy of the form. So what do I do? I take this area that's after the backslash where it says edit. I'm going to mark anything that comes after that. And I'm going to delete it. And instead, I'm going to type in the word copy. Now I'm going to copy this whole link. And then I can go into my web, whatever I want to do. And I could paste it in. What people will get is a notification that says, would you like to make a copy of this vocabulary quiz? Make a copy. Then they have a copy. It saves it to their drive. And we've solved almost all the problems that we would have with people doing damage to our own things. Keep in mind that Google Forms does not have a versioning aspect. In other words, you cannot go back. If someone mucks it up, it's mucked up forever until you redo it. So I hope this helps. Good luck. Bye-bye.